name is Phyllis Abbott. I'm the founder and CEO of Lady Veterans Connect. We provide hope, home, and healing for women veterans who are uh, homeless to transition them back into society. Women veterans are the fastest growing segment of the homeless population. They're also at a greater risk of committing suicide than their uh, counterparts. And um, they had just have a great need because they had experienced PTSD in the military, same as men, and also military sexual trauma in many cases. We reach women veterans any place across the United States. We've had women from Arkansas, um, Georgia, as well as Kentucky. So we accept women from any place who are homeless and need to transition back in with help. And in 2016, a friend of mine called me and said, I have bought a house to flip in Lexington, but you can have it rent free for two years. And we bought it and we remodeled it and now we own it. And it's a small ranch where three women veterans can live up to a year. And then Brian Howard and Alan Taylor bought the trap school when they closed it. And Brian wanted it to be used for veterans. And so he approached us about it. And I told Brian, I said, we don't have any money, but it's my dream. So they have worked with us faithfully until we bought the property last year. The trap school was built in 1985 after the previous school burned. And the school is 22,000 square feet. And it's a ranch, it's eight miles out of the town in a really rural setting with eight acres, a beautiful place for healing and comfort. When we got the property, uh, we had to have a all new HVAC system put in as it had a coal fired furnace in it. We have a new roof on it now. We have new flooring in it. So everything has been completely gutted and redone. It has been a team effort that has made it possible for us to open. Uh, Clark Materials has been awesome. They've also brought with them SRC, Hilton uh, Downtown Lexington. It's been very helpful as well. And then we've had other help from Home Depot, uh, Kentucky Department of Veterans Affairs, and the American Legion Auxiliary. Each one has contributed in some way, putting in new ceiling tiles, painting, cleaning out the mechanical room where the coal-fired furnace was, was one of the worst jobs they had to do, taking up our carpet when we had the flooding in there. Uh, that was a team effort from Clark that did that. It was amazing. Uh, Kentucky Department of Veteran Affairs uh, donated money for uh, new windows and some of the electrical work that had to be done. American Legion Auxiliaries paid for the bathrooms, converting them, and also fire extinguishers. It's just been so much effort out there, hard work, and everybody's made a big contribution. Home Depot came in and they're redoing our columns out front and they provided the new ceiling tiles and those items that we have needed to get open. So we've been very blessed. Without them, it wouldn't happen. When we open our doors in April, as we anticipate, we will be providing a home for up to 32 women veterans at a time where they can live in a year's program while they're going through life skill classes, getting connected with the VA for their uh, health care, and do counseling via Skype. We'll have a counseling room where they can do that. Uh, then we will be working on financial planning. Kentucky Career Center is going to come in and do a 12-week program on preparing them for jobs. Uh, then we will also be doing some nutritional classes. And one of the last things we'll be doing is helping them restore relationships because there's a lot of broken relationships and they need those to be sustainable when they leave. And then in phase two, we want to build about six to eight cottages where we can have our younger women living who have small children, where they can participate in the program and build a bond with their children again. As we're opening the doors, this is not just the end of uh, what we need help with, it's getting the building open. We're gonna need help ongoing to pay the utilities, to pay the mortgage payment, pay the insurance, provide food for our women, and to bring some programs in that we need to bring in uh, to help them to get sustainable. So, and we also would like to have people who provide different programs uh, in different areas that would be able to come out and do some programs with our ladies uh, to help them prepare uh, like art therapy and other programs like that. In addition to the funds that I described, we have a core group of volunteers that helps. But as we go forward, we're gonna need house mothers there 24 hours. And right now we need those to be volunteers if possible. We can have one that can be a live-in if we have someone that uh, may be struggling to be on their own, that way they can live rent-free there. Then we also need people to come in and do programs with the ladies and help them prepare for being uh, productive citizens again. For more information about what we're doing and to get connected with us, you can call me at 859-806-4297 
Our email is info, I-N-F-O, at ladyveteransconnect.org. Or our website, www.lv-connect.org.